Hello and welcome to the Cheat Layer Quick Start Guide. In this video, we will get you oriented to the tool and cover some simple examples to help get you started building your own no-code automations with Cheat Layer. So the first thing you will want to do is log into your Cheat Layer account from cheatlayer.com. Click the login link and sign in with your email and password. And then you'll want to click on the setup button and install the Chrome extension. Once you have this done, you can pin it to your taskbar and open up the extension. So I'm going to use Amazon as our walkthrough example. So once you have installed the extension, I suggest pinning it to your taskbar and we can open it by clicking the cheat layer icon. We have a couple of tips and tricks with this interface before we get started. Uh, you can hide it by clicking on the banner up here at the top that will collapse this menu. You can also completely hide this with the hotkeys control alt and you can see the extension is still running with our selector tool there and unhide it again with the hotkey control alt we have three buttons here at the bottom the website code and no code those correspond to the different layers of the tool you can navigate by clicking them or using the hotkeys control e to cycle through these interfaces on the website layer we have this dotted outline with the add to cheat button this is our selector tool and this is how you will add elements from the web page to your automations and once we start building, we'll see these actions in the no code layer, and we will have access to the code in a fully editable code editor and code layer, uh, if you are savvy enough to edit the JavaScript. So the first action I want to talk about is print to console. And this is a very handy action when verifying our selectors, when we're starting out building an automation. And we have three different selectors here in the tool. The CSS selector is the default. This is the most robust option. This is going to work most of the time with most elements on most web pages. If the CSS selector is not grabbing an object very well, then I would try using the XPath selector. It's a bit more specific. And there's also an attribute selector. This will select all elements of the same type on the page, and that could be useful for certain operations. So I'm going to highlight this text, click Add to Cheat, and we're going to use the Print to Console action. And a good way to gut check your selectors, you can click on any action in the no code layer, and you should see it highlight the element that this is associated with. Uh, if you don't see it highlighting, it might not be the appropriate selector for that element. And we can verify this by running this print to console action. So I'm going to come up to our file menu, click run. And we can see here in our console output, it says running script, and then it printed out the title text here that we have. So I feel pretty good about this selector on this element. The next action we can talk about is our key press function. This uses the Chrome debugging API and accessibility options to simulate human activity on the keyboard and is a very robust way to automate typing. So I'm going to highlight the search field here and click Add to Cheat or use the hotkey Control Enter. And I'm going to use the key press action. And in our key press details here, after clicking on the action button, right here where we have endpoint key press, we have a drop down. So if we had any save variables uh, from other steps in our automation these would appear here but for now i'm just going to click on the custom option now i have a prompt to insert the text that i want to use so we will search for dog toys and we'll click ok and now i can run this key press action and we will see this type into the search bar and as you can see the debugging notification pops up as i said this uses the chrome debugging agent and accessibility options that's a very robust way to insert this text. <clears throat> now, if we want to take this automation a step further, we can add another no-code action to actually click this uh, magnifying button and to execute this search. However, we can also build this automation using our action reporter. So I'm going to refresh this page, start from a clean slate, and we will build this using the action reporter now. So we'll open up Cheat Layer, and we'll get back to our Add to Cheat menu. And now I'm just going to click the action recorder option here in the top right. So now this is going to record uh, my key presses on the keyboard, uh, my mouse scrolling, my mouse clicking. So I'm going to go into the search bar for dog toys. And we can hit either enter or click the magnifying glass button to execute that search. Now we will click the stop record option. And we can see the code behind this recording. If we click on the no code layer as well, we can see the no code actions here that we just took. So now I'm going to save this automation. So I can come up to file, I can do save. You can also use the hotkey control S. And 
We also have folders to help you organize your cheats in your menu. So I'm going to create a new folder called Amazon for my Amazon automations. Click OK. You can see we created this folder. So now I will save this automation for dog toys. And the website field is optional, but if you type in Amazon.com, this will save with the Amazon icon uh, next to it in our cheat layer menu as well. And now we can choose a folder from the drop down and click Save. So now if we open our Amazon folder, you can see we have our dog toys search automation. And we can run this right here from our side menu. And since we made this automation with the action recorder, when we run this again, this will open up in a new tab and then run that automation. And there it goes, searching for dog toys. So now let's build a simple data scraper to pull some information on these dog toys into Google Sheets. So I will open up our product. I will open up Cheat Layer. And let's grab the price and the title and some of this about information. So I'm going to start with this price element. And this is where, again, Print to Console can come in handy. As you see, there's a number of overlapping elements here. Uh, so this is the span element that we want. This is where the hotkey control enter can come in real handy on some of these smaller elements. It may be difficult to roll over them and click add to cheat. So you can just use control enter and it gets you back to this uh, no code action menu. So we are going to use the save variable action here on the price. And then we are going to get the first bullet point here in the about this item section. And this is an element I've used print to console on previously. So I know that the X path is actually the best selector for this object. So I'm going to switch my selector to X path and save this as a variable. And now we'll highlight the title of this. And we're going to use the scrape to G sheets action. So now we will create a new Google sheet. All we need to do is copy this URL from our Google Sheet, insert it here into our Google Sheets ID. And the other field we want to make sure matches is the sheet name. It is set to the default name of sheet one, so we are okay with that. But if we have a worksheet that has multiple tabs, uh, we'll want to make sure we're using the right tab name and that this matches. So now we can run this automation, do a file run. And if this is your first time doing this, you will be prompted to sign into your Google account and allow cheat layer access to your Google account. And here's the Google sign in. So I'll select my Google account. And all we have to do is allow cheat layer access to edit our Google Sheets. If you don't get that sign in prompt, uh, like I have, that means you either already signed into a Google account. So make sure it's the same one that you have your Google Sheet open in. Uh, otherwise, there are a few troubleshooting tips. There are some compatibility options with other apps that you could run into and we'll talk about those at the end of the video so now we can see in our console output that we have run run the script and added a row to google sheets and over here in our google sheet we can see this information and something else to note here the title although it was the last thing we added into our automation is in our first column and that's because whatever we use that script to g sheets action on that's going to be in the first column and then our save variables will be in the order in which we save them after that so that's just something to keep in mind as you're building your automation. Whatever you want in your first column, you're going to need to add at the end of your automation and use the scrape to G Sheets action on, because this picks up all of the previous save variables. So I will now save this into my Amazon folder. So, and now we have two automations saved in our Amazon folder. So now that we have built an automation to scrape data from one of these products, we can use GPT-3, the AI component of Cheat Layer, to run that automation on all of these product listings. As I said earlier in the video, GPT-3 is kind of like your personal software developer. We will prompt this in natural language and it is going to generate some pretty powerful code for us. So what we're going to tell it to do is collect all the links on the page that include dp slash and I'll talk about that in a moment. And then run a script called dog toy data on them. We want to make sure this is spelled exactly the way we have it saved. 
And what DP slash is, is this is just an identifier in the URL of all Amazon products. And we just figured this out by looking at a few of them. Most websites are constructed in a similar fashion. It may be product slash or profile slash, but similar pages will have a common root in their URL that we can use to identify them and differentiate them from other links on the page. So I'm going to go ahead and click generate now. And GPT-3 just wrote all of this code. And I just wanted to check to make sure I had all of the capital letters in the right place, which we do. So we're good to go ahead and run this. So now we'll click File, Run, and this will start to open up all those products on this page in new tabs and scrape their information into our Google Sheet. So now we have several of these product listings opening up and their data is going to start coming into our Google Sheet. Let's take a look here. You can see we now have uh, several line items. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. So we can interrupt this by going to where we originally ran the code and we just need to refresh this page and that will interrupt the code and stop the automation. If you're having any issues with the Google sign in, there is a known compatibility issue with the YouTube app. So what I would recommend you do is type in Chrome colon slash slash apps and make sure you don't have a YouTube app installed here. Uh, I think it's rather standard on most instances of Chrome. So if you do have that, you can just right click it and, click, and choose remove from Chrome. You can still watch YouTube videos. Uh, the app just causes some compatibility issues with the extension. You may also be getting other compatibility issues if you have many other extensions. In that case, we would recommend you make a new Chrome profile. You can just click on your icon here and click add and uh, continue without an account. And you can create a new profile, maybe call it cheat layer even, and just click done and now you have a new clean chrome profile and this actually probably has the youtube app so we can go ahead and remove that and then we can install our cheat layer extension here uh, also we do recommend using the chrome browser you may have issues in other browsers that might not be as compatible so also make sure to keep your chrome up to date with the latest versions so finally i'd like to show you some of the additional resources we have on our website once you sign into your Cheat Layer account, you will have this dashboard display. We have a performance dashboard here showing you how much time your automations have saved you. There's also a chart showing your remaining Cheat Cloud tasks and your usage of those. You'll also see these links up here at the top of the page. This is what I really want to talk about. So we'll start here with the Cheat Codes. These are pre-built modules that you can install to your Cheat Layer extension for free. All of these have accompanying YouTube videos that show them how to work. Uh, these are unlisted, so this is the only place you can find them. We do have a lot of other great videos up on our YouTube channel here. But for these specific videos that relate to these pre-built cheats, you will have to open these up to see them. So as an example, let's look at this screenshot cheat here. And again, you can do this with any of those pre-built modules that we have up there. So you can see once we click Run on Cheat Layer, that installs it into our Cheat Layer menu with our other saved cheats. And we can now use this, we can run this, uh, and we can also call this, any, as well as any of our other saved cheats, using a function called run code on tab. So we're going to use the run code on tab, no code action, to run one of our saved cheats on a link on this page. So I'm going to highlight the link, click add to cheat, select the run code on tab action, and when we click on this action bubble, we have some options here, including a drop down under code. So this contains all of our saved automations. Uh, so I'm going to select a screenshot. And now we can go ahead, run this. And you'll see this will open up a new tab and it will run that screenshot automation. As you can see, it took a screenshot of this web page. And there we have it. Also, while I'm here, I would like to point out our affiliate program. You can sign up for this, and that will give you a unique link that you can then share with other people. And anyone who signs up to Cheat Layer using your link will generate you a 30% commission on that recurring revenue. So definitely something that I would encourage you to look into. Uh, if you're interested in generating some affiliate revenue for yourself, check out our affiliate link for more details on that program. From this dashboard, we can also schedule our saved cheats to run either locally or through the cloud. And we can do that just by selecting one of our saved cheats over here from the side menu. So let's select screenshot. And you can see we have an option to schedule this locally or by the cloud. 
and we'll insert the website. Uh, we will want the entire prefix. So we'll put our HTTPS www, add that onto what we had already saved in our cheat. And we have uh, some timing options, so we can select from these options and we will get a summary of the cadence that we are scheduling here. As you can see, you can be very specific. We could run every second minute past every hour on a Tuesday in January. Uh, for this example, let's keep it simple and run this every minute and we'll take a screenshot of cheatlayer.com. So once we submit this, we will see this in our scheduler and in about a minute, we will see this uh, take off on a run. And if we then uh, want to remove this, we can just click the remove link if we ever need to delete that from our schedule. We also have a documentation link on this page. Uh, this links to our Gitbook. This has a lot of great resources and we're constantly adding more information here as we update the tool and add new functionality to it. Uh, you can see there are some fundamentals. We have sections on all of those cheat codes that we saw in our cheat code menu there earlier. Uh, we have the keyboard shortcuts are all listed out and all the no code options as well have details about them. So again, this is another really, really good resource to reference uh, while you're building your automation and just to get a handle on what cheat layer is completely capable of. Uh, for our more advanced users, we do have information on our specific uh, JavaScript functions. Uh, so any of you developers out there may find this very handy uh, detailing some of the unique functions that we have built into the tool. While we are here on the dashboard, I also want to highlight one of the advanced options that you will have access to with the Product Builder Suite monthly subscription, or if you have 10 codes that you stack up into white label access, this will allow you to export any of your saved automations as a separate Chrome extension. You just have to select your saved automation. And if you have the access, you can click this white label link down here, and that will export this automation as a prepackaged extension that you can then turn around and redistribute or remarket however you see fit. Uh, as I said, this is available with our product builder suite for our white label access. And there are many users out there building products with Cheat Layer. You can see them on our Facebook group uh, or on our YouTube channel. There are several videos out there of products people have already built. So go and check those out. Maybe you'll have an idea for your own product to build. And last but certainly not least, while we are here, I want to talk about our office hours. This is a free service we provide for all of our users. This will connect you one on one with someone on our development team to assist you in building your custom automations. So if you would like to sign up for an office hours, if you are trying to do something a little more complex or you just need a little bit of help with your automation, you can click this setup button where we came to install the extension to begin with. And if you scroll down to number three, you'll see calendars. Uh, there are several calendars depending on your access to the tool uh, with different availability. If you would like to get more access to the developers, you can always upgrade your account. But uh, this is how you can schedule a one on one meeting with someone on our team who is an expert and will help you with your custom automation. So that will conclude the quick start guide for cheat layer. Thank you for joining me and be sure to check back on our YouTube channel for additional videos and check out our documentation page as well for more information on additional actions and functionality with cheat layer. For more information on GPT three, we have plenty of resource on our website as well. So thank you.